Psilocybin is a hallucinogenic compound found in certain types of mushrooms. This compound has been recently widely touted as a psychedelic used in procedures for treating conditions such as depression and post-traumatic stress disorder, the therapies of which, when done under careful supervision, are showing great promise. Important research centers such as Johns Hopkins or Mount Sinai Hospital are currently studying and experimenting with psilocybin as a therapy for treatment-resistant major depressive disorders. These are psychedelic substances found in some plants that may be useful in facilitating new neural connections. Today, I will show you what happens in the brain and in your body when you consume psilocybin mushrooms, its benefits and why it is getting all the attention as a valid alternative treatment for certain mental conditions. Hi, I'm Johanna Kuhn, journalist, researcher, former triathlete and health consultant. Professors at Johns Hopkins University point out that when psilocybin is taken, connectivity between certain areas of the brain that do not communicate well will tend to increase, or vice versa. Networks that communicate a lot will then communicate less or even stop. Alterations can also occur in the auditory, visual, executive and sense of self sections of the brain. In short, the mind becomes disorganized. In fact, a disorganized mind is precisely what is therapeutic. Since people with depression are self-critical, often repeating the same anxious, fearful, and negative thoughts. These researchers indicate that psychedelic plants can break these patterns and allow the person to break out of overly critical thoughts and become more flexible. Psilocybin helps increase neural growth, increases neuronal ramifications, and increases synapses. Neurogenesis, on the other hand, is the growth of new brain cells or neurons. At birth, we have the most neurons we will ever need. However, some parts of the brain can grow more neurons in adulthood. The emergence of new neurons is due to neural stem cells. These are special cells that remain in the brain until they receive the signal to become neurons. Some experiments suggest that psychedelic compounds such as psilocybin may drive natural neurogenesis in the brain. Neurogenesis in adults has been linked to three main areas of cognition, learning, memory, and the reversal of depression. According to studies by the Neuropsychopharmacology Unit of the Division of Brain Sciences at Imperial College in London, the growth of dendrites helps to build and then solidify new circuits in the brain, allowing us, for example, to establish more positive pathways in the brain as we experience real feelings of gratitude. This is why psychedelics such as psilocybin have been effective in treating depression, because they enter the brain through the same receptors as serotonin, which is the body's feel-good hormone. Serotonin helps control bodily functions such as sleep, sexual desire, and psychological states such as contentment, happiness, and optimism. People suffering from depression or anxiety often have low levels of serotonin, as do people with post-traumatic stress disorder, anorexia, tobacco addiction, and substance abuse such as alcohol and other substances. Psilocybin is also useful for treating migraine headaches, as shown in a 2017 study. Others who benefit are people suffering from depression and anxiety as consequence to their diagnosis with fatal cancer or nearing the end of their life. Fun fact, psilocybin mushrooms grow across the globe with slight differences in appearance, but with the same medicinal potency. It has even been speculated that psilocybin mushrooms are a kind of missing link that helped evolve us from hominids to intelligent humans. According to Dr. Thomas Falk, professor of philosophy and education at the University of Dayton, Ohio, this hypothesis provides an explanation for the supposed creative explosion that occurred 40,000 years ago during the Homo sapiens period. 
prior to the migrations from, Afri from Africa to Europe and Asia. There is an apparent leap in human cognitive ability during this period. The key to this major distinction between Homo sapiens sapiens and all, all the other hominids appears to be language. Today, pharmaceutical companies are trying to implement psilocybin in capsule form. These capsules are given to a patient during a session in which the patient lies on a stretcher, eyes covered with a mask and wearing headphones, with a music of choice, while the person facilitating the session holds the patient's hand. However, according to Paul Stamets, people prefer to consume them in natural form or in a ceremonial setting which is where the person conducting the ceremony also consumes psilocybin and assists the participants. For some, psilocybin is a gateway to a greater dimension. By setting aside the ceremonial phase or what the traditional indigenous form of use brings, this can stall or make incomplete the process of the people who go in search of their specific healing needs. Psilocybin mushrooms offer many more components than an isolated pharmaceutical molecule that can be effective against certain mental and emotional conditions. Psilocybin also affects the cardiovascular system and may cause an increase in blood pressure or heartbeat. For these reasons, it is currently recommended that psilocybin be administered in a clinic or in an appropriate setting, provided by doctors or therapists well trained very specifically for this purpose. It should not be available on the street, where people can sell it or take too much, or take too many pills from a prescription. It should even be limited to an appropriate medical atmosphere or ceremonial setting. Psilocybin can last three to six hours and stay in your system for 24 hours or longer depending on body composition, genetics, or other factors. Although genetics may play a role with many mental disorders due to variations in serotonin receptors in some persons, it is unlikely that a person's DNA is the only factor influencing the response to psychedelic treatments. How a person responds to psychedelic treatment may also include their willingness to participate in psychotherapy the willingness to be compassionate towards themselves, as well as the severity of the trauma and the early stage of their life at which it began. The disposition of the patient will affect not only a mental health treatment, but all other health-related treatment. In this case, especially, it is crucial the person's willingness to undergo a procedure that alters their consciousness. That is, once a person has made the decision to go for a healing process, 80% of the effort has been already accomplished. In the content box of this video, you will find a link to the full article, more interesting facts about psilocybin mushrooms and the scientific sources that corroborate this information. If you like the video, please give it a like. Remember to subscribe on the red button and activate the little bell to receive notifications Every time there is something new to learn in nature's way, the art of healing yourself. See you soon.